Got to be a disappointment, huh? Yeah, it was, you know, it's one of those disappointments for sure. I thought there was periods in the game where we could have been up 5 nothing uh, in the second there where you know, I thought we were playing real good. We had some really good chances, and, and their goalie made some big saves. And, you know, when you keep it at 2 nothing and you're not able to get that third one, all of a sudden things start going a little bit the other way. I still thought, I actually thought we played better tonight than last night. And um, that was my gut feel. That was our coaching staff's gut feel. But... Uh, our special teams weren't good enough, and um, you know they scored more on their, on their special teams. That was the difference. Yeah, how much did the penalties hurt? Yeah, yeah you know that, that hurts for sure. But I think what hurts even worse is we had lots and lots of opportunities in our power play when it was two nothing and didn't make it three nothing, didn't make it four nothing. And you got to have that uh, ability to finish teams off, and we didn't. And then they're they're a, a really really good team. I think you know I thought their 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 team was as good as um, certainly probably anybody in the tournament here. And I think we are too and it was a uh, uh, like I said I thought we played good we just didn't finish them off they were pretty physical too. yeah they were physical for sure and uh, I thought there were parts in the game where you know we were physical too at times and uh, I thought some guys did some really good stuff we just gotta you know in the end you gotta execute a little bit better than that are you maybe looking forward to seeing how they respond now after this adversity? I think so. I think you know. I think yeah. a, you know. This is a huge evaluation process for not only myself but obviously the entire Red Wing staff. And you know, it's easy when things are going well. And how how is it when when you got to face some adversity? I think that's a big factor in whether guys are successful in pro or not. So it should be interesting to see. Can we come back and play really good on Monday? Maybe a good thing you don't play tomorrow, so you kind of step away. I think so. You know, sometimes uh, and and you know, I think. Those are two hard games uh, right away in the, coming off the summer. Um, it's real hard for, for these young guys. I mean, they're physical, uh, intense hockey games, and everybody's trying at such a high level that I think uh, playing two and having a day off support. So no practice? No practice tomorrow. What happened to Tyler? You know, I don't know. I haven't talked to the trainers. All I know is he came back and was able to go, but I haven't talked to the trainers. Uh, to some extent, part of because of his injury and to some extent not um, with stat in the lines a bit. Sometimes Turgeon was playing with Nastasiak, Anthony was playing with Nastasiak. There was it was a three line game for a lot. Of yeah, I think you know a couple guys got shorted a little bit. I, I thought uh, Dom was playing good, and I and I was trying to uh, you know put him with some different guys just to see what the combinations were there. We, we put double A up with Mantha a little bit and, and Mosek with Burton Campbell a little bit just to see how those combinations were. A little bit of that's just the evaluation process from us too. But um, that wasn't, it was in a little bit was out of necessity. And, and when you have that many penalties both ways, you got to try to find ways to get guys ice time. Well, I thought, uh, you know, I think that line's been very good uh, you know, through large stretches. and. They were playing against a really good line tonight, and I thought, uh, you know, they, they spent lots of time where they carried the play, but it's real tough out there for sure. You know, they're playing against the other team's best, and, uh, and uh, so it's a good challenge for them. Yeah, um, now that Columbus has two regulation wins, that's six points for them because you guys have an OT win that's two points for you. That's an uphill battle to climb. How, how do you come in on Monday and accentuate the positive? Well, I think, you know, the one thing for these guys is it's obviously a tournament that you want to win, but, you know, just as important for these guys is it's a huge evaluation process. And, you know, they're they're in a situation where they absolutely need to put their best foot forward every single day. And um, you just, you're building a resume every time you're going out there. And, and so they need to build their resume in a positive fashion. And we talk lots about that even through the season with the, with the Griffins that, you know, obviously there's a team component to this, but there's an individualistic component that I think is important too. And, and you better put your best foot forward.